Stress International Korea as a beauty and wellness consultant with a luxury brand. She has now turned her passion for art into practice. In fact, she's got an exhibition coming up and her brand of art uses lots of wax. That's right, assimilating several art techniques. Among them, the kiln casting technique known as a pâte de verre. Uh, Frédéric Streff takes a fresh approach to creating unique and innovative art pieces. Welcome. Welcome, Frederick. Thank you very much. Thank you for great, having me today. Great to have you here with us. Um, now, recall for us your first introduction into the world of visual arts. Well, um, I grew up in France between Nancy in the northeast and Cannes on the south French Riviera. And Nancy is recognized as the capital of Art Nouveau. It's an art inspired by natural form and structures following the lines of plants and flowers, which is the source of my work for sure. And from the French Riviera, I was, and I'm still is, always amazed by the color shades and the very specific light and smell of Provence, where most famous artists lived. Mm. I'm actually, I, I had a look at your website before and mm -hmm. I looked at the colors <laughs> and I thought, oh my gosh, I was almost transported back to Provence looking at some of those oh, colors. Because they're you. absolutely beautiful, they really are. Thank you. Yeah. How much of your passion for visual arts, uh, yes, you came from a, an area, a region that was really you know, well known for um, such uh, lovely um, inspirations and sources of um, creation there that you talk about. Uh, but how much of it really stems from your father, René, who, who was a well-respected glass artist? Probably a lot. It must um, be in the genes. <laughs> yeah, maybe also. <laughs> Yeah, but I did not realize that uh, at this moment it was just later on for me because during my childhood it was absolutely natural to be exposed to all these art techniques. I have always seen my father painting, sculpting, creating masterpieces in Pain de Verre, which is a very specific class work and um, which he still does mm. wow okay <laughs> so you drew inspiration from from some of those pieces would you say yeah maybe no because he's doing much more figurative mm. things but regarding the the luminosity and the texture yes probably for sure fantastic well you've lived in many parts of the world i mean uh, you've been here with i think four years now uh, so but prior to singapore you were living in belgium denmark the netherlands also uh, hong kong how do you say all those uh, countries um, have inspired you and, and, and shaped your, uh, your brand of art as it is today? Well, um, from Brussels, the Art Nouveau style uh, as well. And from Copenhagen, I can recall all the colors from the houses of the docks. Of course, Amsterdam is just art everywhere. And <laughs> Whereas in Hong Kong, uh, you have a variety of atmosphere from one street to another, and the move where you can easily project it into the future and at the same time a very strong presence of its heritage. It might seem paradoxical and so realistic. So now I'm totally in love with dragons. <laughs> so... <laughs> it must be the Asian influence. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes, yes. And some symbolic forms like the double happiness sign, which is probably my favorite one. So I guess each of these cities are bringing that atmosphere and particular energies in my work. But to precisely define a specificity is not so easy as I tend to approach not by rationality, but feelings. So I took a lot of pictures of landscape, of vegetation, architecture, and I like to stroll around cities and let myself be taken by the atmosphere to feel. Mm. I like to observe the transformation due to the daylight in the city or in the sea or in the mountains. So for sure, having the chance to live abroad and to travel as opened my heart and sharpened my eyes too because there is always something that we have not seen yet yeah well and hong kong is a great walking walking area i mean mm -hmm. really is a great walking city yeah true uh, and yeah, also okay. and and amsterdam as well yeah, all wonderful. those little canals and those little bridges everywhere and yeah, very specific atmosphere right mm. yeah so did you take lots of photographs when you yeah i did i did a lot but uh, like a dinosaur I, i'm not used to <laughs> digital so i used... you're not alone <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> 
So, yeah, I, I used to enjoy that a lot, but maybe 20 years ago, something like that, much more. Now I continue a bit of on pictures, but uh, just for inspiration, when mm. a specific light and yeah, something like architecture or something yeah. like that. Which is more powerful for you in terms of source of inspiration? Because you talked about how natural beauty can be inspiring you as well with ideas, yeah. but yet you've also talked about you know living in in such built up urban cities like hong kong and now singapore we don't have you know majestic mountains and beautiful lakes and and valleys um which is more powerful in terms of inspiring you with your your art in terms of natural beauty or man-made beauty for sure elements and natural beauty is uh it's very powerful for me i i need i need to be outside i need to be in nature um, here I have my paradise uh, in uh, the garden city of Singapore. Yeah. This is the botanical garden. Mm -hmm. um, so this is my, yes, my part of paradise here. I definitely need elements. Um, yeah, every flowers or trees or sometimes just the sky is something very specific with the clouds or whatever. Or Mm. I, I see Frederick also doing nature walks and she's yeah. able to then get everybody on board to really appreciate the nature <laughs> all around us. And it really is the garden city as you said. Yes. Yeah, so much I mean so many beautiful parks here and yeah, greenery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green and flowers, tropical flowers with amazing colours as well. Mm. Okay, so when you've got your blank ca your blank canvas, it's a bit like having a piece of paper, a blank piece of paper when you're when you're a writer. So then you've got your your um, your blank canvas there. What, what would inspire you that, but just beforehand to go and start your creativity? Yeah, I think it's just emotion, mm -hmm. uh, emotions. Yeah, mm, it's unpredictable. Um, it's so related to deep feelings so it's all about moving emotions that need to be expressed beyond language and talks i think it's me and it's more than me at the same time and it takes forms and colors sometimes it's acceptable to be seen and welcome to be shared and sometimes it's just awful and ugly but okay there's no wrong and no right here there is uh, there is something and as a result of specific moment with variable intensity. Mm. Mm. Mostly very satisfying. Yeah. Just... We're, we're speaking with French artist Frédéric Streff and uh, all this ahead of an exhibition, her maiden exhibition, yes, uh, first ever exhibition that she's staging uh, right here in Singapore on June the 13th at uh, Serendipity at the NPE Art Residency and Gallery. Uh, it's at 41 Kalang Place. We'll remind you again uh, closer to the end of our chat with Frédéric. Yes, and so um, it is your first ever art exhibition, as Stanley said. Um, tell us about some of the pieces, uh, Frederick, that will be on display. What, what can we look forward to there? Oh, there are pieces inspired by walks in the Botanical Garden. <laughs> of course, Singapore has also a big influence uh, in what I'm doing now. There is a Chinese wedding inspiration. There, um, there is an homage to Notre Dame, the cathedral in Paris. Right. Was this after the fire? Yeah. Yeah, there was such an unfortunate incident. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It so, touched me a lot, so I had to do something with it. Right. Yeah. So does that mean we're going to actually see a uh, piece of, of artwork from you and realize this is Notre Dame uh, or, or this is the Botanic Gardens of Singapore? Will it actually oh. tell us that or are we supposed <laughs> to read into it? <laughs> Yes, you have to tell me. <laughs> I'm not sure of that because I'm not doing figurative at all. I'm just doing abstract. Okay. But the colors and the shapes uh, can remind, mm. uh, yes, the botanical gardens and Notre Dame. It's a bit of a fire stuff and some, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, for me, it's obvious, but maybe okay. just for me. <laughs> now, now you make these, yeah, me. now I'm really excited about As long as there's a little description down the bottom, you know, if we're struggling. Yeah, yeah, well, okay. How would you win? Justine and I went to, to see one art piece, and we'll be like having two different stories come out of it. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. All the same one. So, um, how does it feel, I mean, to, to, to stage this maiden exhibition, and, and what inspired you to, to do it now, I mean, instead of before? Oh, now be mm. well. 
I'm very excited, of course. And um, in, during my last training, uh, we had a bet with uh, Gary Simmons, my master, who have encouraged me and certainly pushed me to agree on an exhibition. And he believe it's time now, and it's really time to share. And uh, the feedback I received from the people who have acquired some pieces were already very rewarding to me. Mm. And here in Singapore, I met uh, Charlie Lim, a professional photographer and an art director. And again, I received lots of compliments from him. And through him, I met other people who welcomed my work with lots of positive energy. And we launched a book uh, called A Step Further, mm. in which Fiorenza Di Monti did all the writings. Um, now, now, as an artist, being invited to art residency is a wonderful gift. So, when Daryl Go, who is a founder, proposed me to join, well, I was just over the moon. And uh, it means a recognition from a very involved professional, because Daryl Go is a trusted curator, lecturer, art writer. And we had a very good connection when we met and the common desire to explore and to learn, of course, and combine experiences and to feed and be fed. So it's, wow. it's a gross promoting climate. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, well, see, once you do this first one, it could open the floodgates and then you could be yeah. having a second and a third and a fourth. Yeah, keep my finger crossed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the first one's always the most, yes. you know, stressful and Daunting. challenging in some way yeah, it they say it's the same as childbirth i don't know the second child second delivery is just easier not that i've gone through it myself <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah yeah maybe the this first one a little bit daunting but then you know when you've had it you think yeah you know what i'll have another one yeah yeah mm. we have another one already scheduled oh, already. Uh, <laughs> oh in october with uh Kuhan morel also the artist yes yeah. here in singapore too um so yeah, it seems to be on the right track. Fantastic. Wonderful. We haven't really spent much time talking about wax because wax is a, a medium uh, that will be largely used in your art pieces. Tell us more about your fascination with wax and, and why wax? This is actually the only medium I'm using. So this is um, um, an ancestral technique based on bee wax and pure pigments. And uh, I discovered it in Amsterdam. 20 years ago, by chance, uh, just while walking in art district, um, there was an exhibition of a work attracted me and aroused my curiosity because I had never seen such a work. The rendering was unique and fascinated me like an attraction. And I found and learned uh, for years with my master, Gary Simmons, and now I really prepare all by myself using the ancient techniques with a blue torch, with bowl in which I melt the wax and precisely integrate the pigment into it. And it's natural raw material that appear to me as alive and need to be tamed. And it's a multisensorial experience. The, the wax is solid and cold or liquid and hot, can become translucent or opaque light or heavy, can be soft and shiny, can bring a lot of relief. Um, well, there are many technical factors to be considered. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it is about fusion, but it's, yeah, it's an ancestral practice revisited in modern and abstract way. So many different characteristics of wax, and yeah, yeah, the only way to like. really enjoy it and understand it will be to go to your exhibition yeah, that will be happening you. on June the 13th at Serendipity at uh, NPE Art Residency and Gallery. This is the address, take it down, 41 Kalang Place. Would you like to leave us a website? www.frederikstreff.com uh, All right, that's F-R-E-D-E-R-I-Q-U-E. S-T-R-E-F. Thank you, Frederick, for joining I us. Do. All Thank the best with the exhibition.